Hello and welcome. New day, new stream. This is day four. We have changed a little bit. I'm changed my microphone because I uh, reviewed the stream of yesterday and I saw that the microphone was uh, clipping quite a lot and the sound quality wasn't that great. So <clears throat> I switched back to my standalone mic microphone and I hope the quality is a little bit better. So yeah, we are constantly trying to improve this dream, of course. And uh, this is just one small adjustment. I hope it will make the sound quality a little bit better. Um, first things first. For today, the stream will be a little bit shorter. It will be something around 11.50. I have to fetch my daughter from the kindergarten and I... <laughs> shouldn't forget that so please please if anyone is here remind me uh, that i get it to end the stream 10 minutes before 12 so i can uh, get into time to the kindergarten um <clears throat> yeah that's uh, for the streaming I think that's it pretty much what i have to say in general so for the review for the last Three days we have streamed. Of course, I always uh, exported all the videos to YouTube and I see that there's quite some interest in it. And also there are some, some people already interested in the content and looking and commenting. And yeah, it's quite nice to see how everything is evolving in the meantime. And I'm, I'm pretty excited about the stream. I have to say my, my general job is a little bit, uh, boring at the moment and it's uh, taking also some damage because I have uh, so much more motivation to do game development at the moment and to, to yeah, being here with you and streaming and working and uh, yeah of course the streaming is also taking a lot of part in the videos and so some spare time of my other job is, is missing there so I have to see that it's uh, adjusting quite well but uh, the good news is the game development is making fun actually and that's pretty cool because the, the last two days were pretty much uh, we achieved a lot of uh, of things and we made a good progression and I had fun to discover it and research the stuff and going back into into Godot uh, so I yeah I feel how I missed the game development part because in my other job I doing some e-commerce development and uh, that's uh, yeah that's kind of boring in uh, contrast to game development so don't let us waste too much time on talking i will switch the scene to our browser and let us have a short recap from yesterday so yesterday it was twitch day three we had uh, the fix of the draw tiling um, we had a problem with the keys which were uh, not sorted in the correct way this leads to uh, an off placement in the drawing tiles. We were able to fix that and have now the map showing correctly as the JSON. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, as the JSON uh, should be. So the map is now working as drawing correctly based on our data. Afterwards, we implemented a 2D camera, which uh, is able to give us another viewport of the map. We then implemented a zoom to zoom in and out on the map. We da afterwards implemented the scrolling by dragging the map around. And yeah, there we created some problems because the scale factor or better said the zooming is uh, yeah, striking there into because uh, if you are zoomed in, then it changed the constraints of the map by panning around and stuff like that. And there we ha will have to look for today. So let us uh, archive this card. It's done from yesterday. Today we have day four. Today we will finalize the implementation of the zooming and the uh, panning. I can already start up the other projects. So we have a reference in a minute. Um, let me see, where is it, where is it, there it is. So uh, we will fix the zooming and panning correctly to the tile map today and afterwards we will see what, inf what else information are in our JSON map data. I have to look for myself, I think there's placement and map objects in it and we will work on them. 
So let us go into the coding part. We have created a tie node. The, at the moment, we have uh, the constraints are failing on different zoom modes. That's what we need to fix. And afterwards, I can already say we have the map objects and placements in the JSON data. But we will see that in a minute. So another good, good thing is I uh, adjusted the scaling here, I, the scaling of my editor. So it should be look a little bit more full HD and not uh, that blurry as yesterday. Um, no, I think yesterday it was smaller because it was on the original a QHD resolution, but the day before it was blurry because it was scaled in the wrong way. Today I have uh, achieved it that our editor is full HD with the correct resolution. So I also think you are now able to better see in the editor what's uh, actually happening. So what I wanted to look for now is I want to go to the, to the map the create tile i want to set a breakpoint we uh, throw up the scene we look in our debugger we have the json data json data map json string json there and in the json we have the placement we have the map and we have the image meter so the placement is consisting of a red player and a blue player. The map is consisting of our X and Epsilon cells. So this is quite interesting for placement, uh, red and blue players need to be set up. Why is it red and blue? It's player one and player two. It's an artifact of uh, of the uh, multiplayer game, which isn't actually a part of the definite edition for now. So we only care about the red player. And uh, I think the blue player isn't that important for the placements for now. And then we have the map objects and we let us see where the map objects actually are stored because they are not as in individual key. So I think they are placed on these cells directly. Um, let us uh, take a look in the other project. No, we have the JSON here. Then we can say, I need to find a picture for it. The picture is the asset, the map, the objects. And I think we have in the first, we have a rock somewhere. It's called rock PNG. No, it's not. No, because it's in the first. Oh, I'm not sure if it was in the first one. Rock PNG. Let us grab through this one. So we have the maps here. And I think there's no rock PNG. Okay, so where is the object actually handled? This is interesting because I'm not sure how I stored the objects. Ah, objectives, let us see, units, rewards, data. So this one is the uh, description of the tutorial campaign. So what we had had before is, uh, this is the JSON of one map and it uh, includes all the metadata for the map, which actually has the, the tile textures and the placement for it. And uh, this file I opened uh, here now is actually a group of missions. So what I have stored here is all the tutorial missions and the tutorial missions are consisting of the tutorial one map of the tutorial two map and the tutorial three map. And I hope to find the objects in this uh, description. And yes. I see them already because the objectives are here. And I think the objectives defining the map objects. So the map objects aren't parts of the map as I thought uh, in first place. Uh, yeah, it's a long time ago I created it. So the map JSON itself, as we have it, uh, is just representing all the tiles and the placements. So let us go back and say map objects are stored in the mission uh, descriptions. 
So we need to look over there. Why is it this? Why is it so? Because uh, we would like to have some objects on the map and we need to place them somehow. And I decided in, in the past that it uh, should belong to the mission instead of the map itself. I think it has to do with some meter I put in here. I guess it had also something to do with the quest objectives because the whole quest system is uh, bundled into this mission. So we have uh, some metadata like the data, which actually defines the health points of the rock. The ID is uh, referring to the to the rock texture. Uh, the de defens is just uh, yeah, a value how much defens this rock has. And then we have the X and uh, Epsilon coordinate where it's placed. And so we have uh, some kind of dynamically uh, dynamically objects we can place and also bundle them into different quest objectives I would say as uh, steps we need to do and so it's it's possible in our missions to describe different steps we need to yeah, to finish to actually get the mission complete but we will look at that later first of all as I said in our uh, note First, let us get started with the constraints which are failing on the different zoom modes. And this is yeah, because of the different zoom And there. Let us have a little, little recap of yesterday. So as I see, there's already some action in the chat here. Hey, <laughs> welcome to join us on our mission to get the tile map drawing and panning correctly. So yesterday we have implemented the camera. No, this is the camera GD. And with the camera, we have now two different input events. The first one is our mouse button event, which is actually listening on the mouse wheel. So this wheel is, uh, the mouse wheel is uh, using for the zooming. So as we can see, and we can't see anything because I'm in the breakpoint. Where's the breakpoint? Where's the breakpoint? There is the breakpoint. Let's remove it and launch it. So as you can see, if I move my wheel up and down, we are able to zoom in and out. This is handled by this input event because we are checking if the mouse wheel is down or the mouse wheel is up. If so, we are just zooming on our step, which we have defined on top which is 0.0.5 .0 .0 and we just add it to the zoom or remove it from the zoom and actually make sure that we don't go over a specific max distance which we have also this time uh, defined here so the minimum zoom is 0 0.35 and the maximum is 2.5 so this leads to end here i can now scroll back and back and back but it won't go any further and also on the in Zooming, I can scroll in and in and in, but it won't be more than 2.5. So these are our min and max values. Afterwards, we implemented the panning. The panning was a little bit uh, more complicated because for the panning, we need uh, two different events. First, we need a mouse button left click, which is, uh, which is called here. So we check if the input mouse button is a mouse left. And afterwards, we check if the mouse button is released, which actually means, yeah, we're releasing the button or if it's pressed. So the difference is if we press it down, we want actually to start panning. So therefore, we have a, a small helper variable here, which is actually start our panning and is setting panning to true. And if panning is true, we then catch the mouse event motion button and check if, if we are in panning mode, so maybe we could also rename it to panning mode because uh, it's more, yeah, it should uh, describe it more. But if we are in panning mode, we just take the relative position where we have started our panning and where the mouse position is for now. We create a relative position out of that. And after that, we then moving the camera around with the X and the Epsilon cord, also by clamping the position into a minimum distance and a maximum distance. 
and so we make sure that we can move around our map and also here we have the constraints that we can't go any further down than this and we can't go any further right than this and we can't go any further up than this and we can't go any further left than this so this is working cool also the panning speed everything is cool and works great the problem we have now or we need to to fix is the panning works super as long as we are on the zoom level one so and when we go here we have our standard zoom which is one and as long as we are on zoom level one oh that was interrupting hey there's Nettie. thanks for following thank you very much i appreciate it a lot so the panning is working as long as we are in zoom mode one because we don't have a scaling on it and then all our distances are correctly if i now move out a little bit we have another zoom mode and now you can see i can go too far to the right too far to the left too far to the down too far to the top and also in the other way around if i zoom in very much we can't reach the end of the map on the right we can't reach the end of the left top and so on so what's the problem here the problem is that we don't take the zooming scale into account when we make the panning actually happening so we have a min map position and the max map position which are both are set on the uh, on the creation of the map and yeah the problem is this always uh, the min map position and the max map position is is referring to the zoom level one and uh, we need to adjust that now that if we are on a on a higher zoom level or on a lower zoom level um, we need to adjust the con constraints accordingly so what i would say so is the best way to do it is after we change the zoom we have to zoom here and we have to zoom there we could adjust the min and the max position I let me just fastly check how I've done it in the original version because there of course we had uh, the same problem <coughs> and I uh, had the handle drag function over there it was called handle drag and in the handle drag um, where is it where is it zooming wait hit and drag we had set the camera point yeah that's uh, that was it already and uh, there I was always updating the min width and the min height on the scale factor every time we dragged around. Okay, so there I was going the other way around. I took the zoom into account. Let me just check it. And then we translated the translate X and the translate epsilon by the min width and the min height yeah correctly but what i'm uh, that's absolutely right the problem or the thing i don't understand for now is what have i done with the max width because we also need to adjust the max width and this was also just set on the beginning we had the scale factor and it was never then never ever again adjusted but it should that's quite interesting we will figure this out in in godot um i have to take a little break i'm sorry i have to go to the toilet i'm back in two minutes
So I'm back, sorry for that. But the advantage is, <laughs> if I go into the toilet, I have some time to think about the problem actually. And I came already up with a solution. So for now, I would just try. We set here the position of the X and the Epsilon and clamp it with the min position and the max position. And what I would like to do is we just say the uh, we would like to take the zoom into the account. So we say it's min scaled map position is min map position multiplied with our zoom factor, which is the actually zoom and our max Oh, do we need to adjust the min? I think so. Let's just let's, let us just try it. So the max scale map position. Otherwise, we can just we don't need the variables here. We can just say it's uh, min map multiplied with zoom x multiplied with zoom x. <clears throat> And this one is multiplied with zoom epsilon and multiplied with zoom epsilon. So let us test this one. So first of all, it hasn't changed at all on the one zoom. So this is as it was before. Now we zoom in a little bit. Okay, it's not working correctly. <laughs> We can we can now go further than we would before, but too much. It's better, but not right. Mm -hmm. And on the left side, we still can't go to the left. So this means that this isn't right, at least on the min position. Cat. Don't annoy me on my. So the min, we wouldn't take the zoom for now. Let's just remove it and let us check what uh, it's doing. Yeah, we need to adjust it on that case. So let us just uh, check the min map position. Let's understand the mathematics behind it. The map min map position is set by the viewport size. Yeah, that, that's the problem actually. <clears throat> the problem is that it, the minmap position is referenced to the viewport size and the viewport size is changing by the zoom. And therefore, we need to therefore we need to adjust this as well because if we are zoomed in, we have a lower viewport size, and we need to give it up there. So here are different possibilities now how to fix the issue actually. The, the, the problem is easy because it's, uh, uh, it's related to our zoom. So let us first focus on the zoom in step. The zoom in step is here and I would like to um, reset min max map position. So we write a new function for this function reset min map position. And what we would like to do is to set it by the yeah, by the right things. I would say the max position is then vector two 
And the problem is that the, the max map position is set here. So what we need to do is the initial max initial max map position needs to be max position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I try something. So let me just type some. Uh, we say set max position. This is setting the initial map position. We just create a new initial map position, which is also a vector two. Then we have an initial process. Then we call the reset min map position. And therefore I would like to do what we are doing here but we now want to take this zoom into account so let us do to, to do take the take the zoom into account for that and we have on the min map position we have actually the same thing going Um, we are setting the min map position on ready and there I would also say we set initial min map position is the min map position because it actually takes the no wait we can for the initial for the initial we can take this one because this is our initial this is the initial min map position because there we already know that is uh, because it's based on a zoom factor of one and we want to go two five six on the left and one nine two on the right and therefore we can say this one isn't set and the initial is our initial and we don't need to set it and what we would like to do here is also to reset the min map position yeah we don't need to do that on ready we can also do it here so uh, we have the initial and we just copy that over and we take that here the position is the initial min map position I hope everything is right what I'm doing here because I'm a little bit uh, floating right now so the min map position is now this one and after we go out we have to reset so Yeah, it's not, it's not named correctly. We need to reset min map position. Okay, it's not working correctly. Let's see again. Um, why it's not working now? The position is the initial map position. Yeah, of course, because because this one is the initial. No, not. What is min map position for now? Nothing. The initial is set. The position is set to the initial min map. And afterwards. Ah, I think now I think that, I think this is on the wrong. I think there is the position. No, it's not. <laughs> Why is the initial position now not working? So the initial thing isn't right because the initial thing shouldn't be the initial. It should be the min map position. Yes. 
So this was the issue. Okay, now it's working for that and we are still not working here. It's uh, fine because we haven't changed anything there now. What we need to do now is to take the zoom into account as I have said. And therefore, if we zoom out or in, we want to update our constraints. So just comment it here, update our map constraints for panning on zoom. Now let us think about how is the zoom interacting with the viewport size because what we are doing here is we are creating the max map width actually by taking all the x position all the x cells minus 320 plus our viewport size multiplied by 1 by 5 and the max epsilon it's the same so we get this here so but this is changed on the zoom port so let us just check if we just start it here we get the max map position of x 1408 on a zooming level of 1. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's right. Because we, we just have the max width of our map here on a zooming level of 1. And then we have the viewport. Can we see the viewport actually? Yeah, we can. Um, the viewport, 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 viewport size. I would uh, like to see. Can I see the size in the debugger? I can see the offset. I can see the max. I can see the map position. I see the members. But I can't see the fucking viewport. Where is the viewport? Hm. Should be the viewport in there. Nevertheless, we will just uh, say viewport is get viewport. Then we have the member viewport. And there we have the size of 1152. Let us just. Uh, I hold this in mind 1152 if we now set the initial 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 zoom to 1.5 1.5 we then have the same size of the viewport so by this the viewport isn't changing based on the zoom and that's the problem we need to adjust the size of the viewport by the zoom because if we are zoomed in to 1.5 we need to divide the viewport by the zoom.x now do we need to divide it let me just let me just do a calculate so if we have a viewport of thousand and we are on one five then we have just this one but if we have thousand and we are on something like that yeah divide is right yeah i'm i'm a little bit it's too early for mathematics but this stuff is always uh, about mathematics so I think what we are doing now is we divide it by the zoom port and therefore it should now because we take the zooming into account as we would like to do have a bigger viewport now uh, let's see can also say viewport divided by zoom 
and we set a breakpoint over here and then we go back uh, it's vector two uh, Yeah, let's just take size divided by zoom. This is what I wanted to do. Um, viewport is not because this is not working like I want to. Then we just say it's X viewport X by zoom X. Let us see X is then seven, six, eight. Cause then it's lower. But this is wrong because we need more. We need to multiply it because we want, we see less and therefore we need to go further to the right, but not too far. Why is this already too far? But this is, yeah, that's uh, right because we need to multiply it. So, but now we have too much. Now we have 1,700, uh, 1,700, yeah, 28. On the zoom of 1,5. Because I think, it's not just the viewport we need to adjust. Um, let us uh, check, I had it here. It's the scale factor in general over everything. Yeah, that would be my next idea to not having the viewport interfered by the zoom. Instead, we have everything by the zoom. So let us check how this is uh, working out. So we are on 1.5 and it's much better, but it's still too much. It's still too much because the uh, calculation isn't right here. Because this one needs to be adjusted by the zoom as well. Mm -hmm. I think this one needs to be adjusted as well because this is, uh, I think it needs to be divided by the zoom. I just fiddling around a little bit now. And um, this was wrong. It's not, must be this one. Yeah, better, but also not right. Um, the problem is a little bit that I have in my calculation this this hard coded number where I <laughs> was yesterday just uh, fiddling around and, and doing some stuff which actually looked quite good. But I think we have to go deeper into the mathematics how we actually um, calculate the max position because we have two different two different things. It's also this one needs to be the initial max position. Mm -hmm. So let us check the, we have taken into account the tile size multiplied by scale factor No, no, the width I would like to have the tile size my scale factor divided by four divided by scale factor. That's the min width. So the tile size is this uh, this one, and this should be. Yeah, so I was right. This needs to be multiplied with the zoom factor. But 
but we are much too big now. This one needs then to be divided by it. Yeah, it's not actually enough, but it's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. <laughs> That's it. So no, let us test another, I think that's it. Let's us test another zoom factor. For example, this one. No, <laughs> then we are much too, too less also. And it's, this is really. I don't get it. Problem is the viewport size, but also the initial map exposition is this one. I think the problem is we have already in the map we set the max position, and the max position is already. This one. The max position is already the, the right max position based on the, on the zoom factor. So the initial, wrong, the initial max we set here, max position, is without zoom. Yeah, but therefore I would have thought or would have guessed that when we just calculate everything together and then afterwards applying the zoom to it, that it should be right. Because it, it doesn't change. Does it actually make the difference if we apply it before? Let me go to the other project. There I have the aspect ratio of the game. This is divided by the scale. See the max x with calculation again. Count x with the tiles. My viewport viewport hype update and the problem is the camera was a little bit working uh, differently in libgdx than it was in godot or is in godot in godot the, the things are a little bit different for us and what we would like to figure out is how much we can go over to the right side here with our viewport and because the size isn't changed of the viewport it doesn't make any change there I'm also quite interesting why I multiply it with 1.5 over here. Why is this 1.5 on the, on the scale factor? Because this because the size X is the 
the width of our camera and why do we need it to set it to one around yeah this is quite complicated here because this is the groundwork and it should work of course as uh, as it should and i think we have a little problem here i'm not sure if i'm going back <laughs> to the original i think i'm going back so let us just reset everything we have done so far and let us give let us clear the sorts and start from the beginning again because I don't understand now and we need to, to define and to redefine the problem. So I think this was the original version. Let's take back the zoom to one. We have the right corner. 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 So the panning is working there. We go to a zoom level of uh, 1.5 and then we are already wrong in the first place. So let us start with that one. Why are we wrong on the first place? Because the min map position is set by the viewport as position and the viewport size divided by two and get viewport. And the problem is we don't take the zoom into account here. So what I would like to do is Let's get baby steps for it to understand the problem actually. Um, if we have a zoom on X, we need bigger zoom. So we need more. So we go over there. That's not the case. And we go over there. That's right. So we need to divide it by the zoom to get the right starting point. So. Let's check if the logic is right. We have the right spaces here on the right zoom level. Now we increase the zoom even further and we can see that the zoom spaces are still the same. So this is working. Now we go to the... And in this zoom level it's quite big, but we have always the same space over here it's always the space we want to have yeah as you can see it's zoomed like that so that is right this goes for the min map position and the min map position now needs to get updated every time we change the zoom like this so what we have done here is or better said what we need is we have the initial min map position like before just with some more knowledge about it now and we say it's this one this is our initial min map position this defines how much space we would like to have and on ready we now use the initial min map position was it initial oh, i just copy it over so we just do it like that and we restart it and everything is working we would like to have So this is right. So what we now need to do is every time we update the zoom, the min map position should be changed accordingly. Why is it so? Because if we now go in and we zoom in, we can't go to the top left corner back where we was in first place. So when we zoom in, let me just take it in. We need to set min map position. Therefore, we need a function set min map position. 
which actually does this. That min map position. And the min map position is then taking again the initial min map position and is adjusting the constraints accordingly. So it's working. We are going to the top left. We're zooming in. And now we can go to the top left. And now we can go to the top left and go to the top left. So first thing <laughs> is finished. We are able to set our min map position now and the min map position is updated accordingly on the zoom in. The problem for now is the max map position. There we need to do the same thing. <laughs> Sorry, there was some coffee on my desk. So for the max map position, we now do to, uh, need to do the same. The max map position is a little bit different in comparison to the min map position, because on the min map position, we know that we are just want to have this space. On the max map position, we can't know it because the first time the set max map position is called from the from the map this one is already a calculated value because we need the calculated value because we don't know how big our map is in the width and therefore it depends on how much cells we have and this is calculated and maybe it's wrong calculated because the tile size is already here included and so I'm not sure. So let us change this one to set initial max map position. And let's work with that. So we create another one with this initial max map position, <coughs> which also is the vector two. And we don't have a value for it now because we need to write a function set initial max map position and this gets the initial initial position which is vector 2 and we set the initial max map position is the initial position this is just the initial after that we need to call the set max map position and in this one we don't need a parameter because we take always the initial map position and on this we try then to base the zooming into okay we don't have the zooming for now we are on one and we just check if everything is working as before and it doesn't so this already gives us a hint why is it not working as before and this is a good question because what i have changed now is actually nothing we on zoom one we have the initial max map position and we can scroll now too far why can we scroll that far actually so this is a good hint let us remove the code again. And also in the map. That max position. <laughs> I love this. I love these problems, really. Because uh, I thought it was working. Now it's working again. Um, so now let, we have, uh, now we have maybe a clue or not. What did I change for that? It is, it, this is blowing my mind that we get different. So I I've written the func set initial set initial max map position, and we wanted to have the initial position, which is vector two. 
which we should say is the initial max map position is the initial position we get over there so th there's nothing wrong with that then we changed in the map just to set initial max map position to this what we have created here and afterwards we just set max map position to let's, let's just say initial position we don't need it because that's the same so let's get rid of that initial max map position this is max map position this was max map position and then we create it and then we can scroll too far it is this is cool but this maybe shows us what's the problem here so let us remove the x value there then we can't move at all okay this is fine so maybe we can now understand the mathematics behind it <laughs> so this is to view so we have to get the get viewport of course viewport size dot x And this is already too much because no not because give me the breakpoint here initial map position max map position is 800 this is 800 my coffee And then we pass it to the X. I couldn't say the viewport, yeah. Viewport, no. So we can now scroll too far. So we need to take the viewport divided by two. Because we just say two. Yeah, that, that's actually the case. So this is right. I'm not sure why it was before on the one by five so let us see do we have at the bottom the same problem so this is uh, not right here it's divided by two we get it working we get it working stay tuned i will get it fixed in a moment so now we have the right constraints on the right on the left and everything looks fine for now so with setting the initial and it's also also our code is now much simpler because all the other things and <laughs> constants values are now out of it so it makes this stuff easier and now i think the only thing which is left is we need to divide by the zoom as we have done on the minimum and then we are good to go hopefully So let us divide that it makes it don't makes any difference for now because we are on the zoom level one let's get to zoom level one and five and there it's still a problem there we have two less because it can be because it's uh, multiply it needs to be multiplied on the this one i think this looks a little bit too big yeah, this looks too big. That could be happen because mm -hmm. let me check another zoom level. There is missing a part. I think it's uh, there is still missing a part. Hmm. <laughs> 
The maximum is a little bit more complicated than the uh, uh, than the minimum because the minimum is easier to set up because we know on the minimum we want to start in the left corner. So the difference between the the left the top left corner for the minimum position is uh, compared to the maximum. The maximum on the right side is a calculated value and the minimum isn't. It's a, a constant and that's actually now the problem we have here because on the zoom factor of 1 everything works as it should and if we go to a bigger one like 1, 2, 5 then we have two less space. So this less space we need to adjust by the viewport, which is the viewport divided by two divided by zoom x. This allows us no, we've multiplied with the zoom x. Sorry. So we can do. Uh, let's work with uh, braces. So like that then we have to write zoom accordingly and if we now go to the second zoom sh uh, level we also we ha then have too much so as we can see this is not quite right but because of this one the viewport is right i would say but this one is wrong yeah, brackets are a little bit easier to read, but the zoom port is right now. The the viewport is right for the for the zooming, but we get too much space on the right, and I think this is depending on our initial max position. And the reason behind it is that we got from our map where we set the initial max position, it's not taking the zoom into account. And that's actually the problem. We, because we work here with the tile size as well, and we don't take this zoom into account. And for the for the left corner, as said, as it's in, in constant, it's no problem. So maybe we just need to pick it into the calculation. But I need to see the brackets in a minute <laughs> because I think now we have uh, this one goes first and then we go dead. But I think what we need to do is this one. No, it's not. This one is right because this one is divided by two. Ah, I think I have an idea. I think it, it can be that we need to. Uh, we need to. Have this one. So we have a little bit too much space because we now also need to adjust this one by dividing the zoom. And then I think we don't need. No, it's wrong. Hmm. It looks better, but <laughs> it's still not right. What the fuck? Okay, it's okay. Don't, don't. Go dot, don't. <laughs> Get broke. So what I've done here now is this one. But now we have also the problem that we can't go too much. Okay, so this is not working how I would like to have it. And then we do a different approach. 
So what we have done here is let us go back to the to the zooming of one. The zooming of one works as intended. The zooming of 0 0.8, for example, is bigger. And the zooming of 0 0.2 is all, this is also a little bit, can't see it really, but at least when we go to 2, we see that we then have too much space. Okay, so it's depending on this initial max x value. So what I would like to change then is instead of doing the calculation here, we will move it to the camera. So we take this out and say max map position x and max map position epsilon. Or better said, we can just say, we can just say max map position. Then we get it to the camera for the initial position. And then we need to do the calculation here. Mm -hmm. Because this now, uh, I will do a comment, uh, only provides the count of x and epsilon because we need to scale this tile sizes i think so let me just go on break i'm back in a minute man i'm drinking too much ah so the funny part or the funny thing about all this calculation is that it comes to my mind uh, that i have the same struggle had in the libgdx problem uh, with the same problems i had to fight there because it's it's kind of complicated to to build up these constraints to actually have that on every zoom level equal um <clears throat> and so I'm struggling actually at the same place I, as I was five years ago or something like that. Um, so the approach now, what I would like to do is I would like to put in the calculation of the initial tile sizes because we need to scale the tile sizes and not the position and not everything else. So what we need to do is we need to Put the tie sizes here into braces, uh, brackets, into brackets, and we need to adjust them accordingly to the zoom factor. This is also what we can see here, which is actually always the tie size, which is multiplicated with the scale factor. Because when we are on a zoom level, at 1.5, for example, the tile isn't 2.5.6 anymore. It's actually bigger or even smaller. It's depending on the zoom level. So what we need to do is we need to adjust it with the zoom level here. And that's actually it. So, 
The initial position we now get is this one. This is the initial position x. And we now need uh, to give it. Okay, let's, let's just set uh, for actual max map position is vector 2. And therefore, we need initial. And this is the first x. Let us write it in this way. And therefore, this is the second. Epsilon. So, and now taking into account the tile size. So the tile size we don't have here. That's why is uh, it was this. We can just remove it. I think we don't need the tile size here anymore. Now we need it for the first rendering, okay. Ugh, this is a little bit. So we can do, because the camera is there, we can say get parent tie size. Get parent tie size. Because then we don't need to Define it another time because the parent of the camera is the map, and then we can say get parent tie size. So now it's working like that. But this is not working. Now we have two less space. This can only be if the zoom isn't correctly for the tie sign. This is also what I have seen here in the min. It has to be scaled on the max. Could be that we have to divide it. No. Why does this even change anything? Ah, okay, because yeah, I, I, I'm stupid. I'm stupid because we, of course, need then to use the actual map position X here. Okay, but now we have much too much space. It's too much. Why do we have so much? It's too less. I'm not sure if this one is needed by the zoom factor because this is our space we want to have. But also that is too much. I, I don't get it. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. I'm also not sure why I have this. And if it's actually making any difference. If I set the braces away around this, this is. Is doing any difference? Be the same in the calculation actually. Man, 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 it can't be so complicated. Really. It is just the tie size of the initial. We have initial x position. The x position is just saying we have. 10 
x cells on the width, for example. Then we take our tile size. Now let's just let's take the zoom out of it now. So we have the tile size. So what we have do what we do now is we have ten tiles in a row, and we have a tile size of two hundred fifty six, which is defined in the map two hundred fifty six. So by this we normally would have here if our initial position. Let me just debug it. Uh, where's the debugger? It was wrong set. So uh, so we're just saying that we have an initial map position of ten multiplied by two hundred fifty six. for the width but the problem is we don't have it like that so let us just get into the math again um, i don't want this i want to have one zoom factor what we have this is our left starting point and if we have now 10 tiles we have this one this is that's why we have this 7.5 because 7.5 always means we have this we have this we have this we have this okay so what i don't get is why we divide it here because what we actually want is we want to have the tile size cat go away go away we want to have the tile size multiplied with the number of X cells. And at the end of the map, so let us just say what I've done now. So one we are now getting so far ahead because we already take the zoom thought into account. I would like to have it not right now. We just take the X. Also, that is quite long now. I have no idea why. So that's, that's also the case here. Let's go again. Why does it do any difference? We are on zoom one. And what the fuck? And we have now a max map position of 1920. 1920 because because it's 256 yeah now i know it okay so the problem is the tiling size the tile size is 256 which is absolutely correct but the problem we have right now is that our zoom one level is 128 because we don't we on the zoom factor 2 we would be in the original size of the tiles but we start with a tile size of 128 and that's why we need to divide it by 2 here okay so i understand that um so let us go over the breakpoint now we will have two less so why do we have two less? Because we have just one parent tile with 0 0.5. But we also need at the end of the tile, we need another get parent tile size divided by 4. 
because this is a, a quarter of the width and we need to add it at the end to get there. So then we also need to take into account that our initial map position is to the left. Our min position. The min position is a minus. So what we need to do is we need to add also the initial min map position x and add it there. We need to do the minus actually. We need a minus there, yeah, and then let me just check it right now. It is just not working at all. Why? Making too much. Do we need it? I have no idea if we need it really. It's the min position. Initial mean position, it's the tile size. It's the tile size divided by four. Uh, let me check the code for now. It's the min width, the aspect radio scale. No, that's not what I wanted to have. Min, 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 min. Max width. Um, tile divided by four. Yeah, the width is just the tile size 7.5 divided by 4. So if I do, let me get the calc up again. If I have 256 divided by 2 divided by 4, is the difference to 256 by 4, yeah? Before, yeah, it is. So, also there, we have then to do the tie size by two by four. But this is also not enough, why? Right? Because we need to adjust it with the min map position. But the min map position, no, we need the initial min map position. Dot x. And still we have not enough space. I... Why is it so? And also we have the centered viewport of course which is get viewport dot size dot x divided by two so now we can get f much too far so that's the question if we have the viewport already in here if we actually need that one and then we have actually the question if we need this one This is just the map tiles for now. Get parent tiles divided by two. Yeah, I think we need we need the initial min map position x divided and now we need to add 
the tile size again, which we want to have at the end <coughs> as base. So get parent tile size divided by two divided by four. Only four. Damn it. Divided by two. Yeah, I think that's that's the right space we want to have. So now we are going back into a double zoom. And we then have to less because we need to adjust the zoom. So first of all, we need to take the zoom into account and divide it by two. And we have too much over here because we also need to take this zoom into account for the tile size. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. I'm just trying things. <laughs> this is too much. I don't get what's actually wrong with the fucking zoom on the max. This is fucking annoying. <clears throat> Man. Why does it work so easily with the with the zoom for the viewport minimum and it's so complicated for the maximum view. This can't be real. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it, more or less. <laughs> Damn it. What we need to do is we also need to have this one. What is, what is this? What, what the fuck have I done now? Just too fucking much. 
it's too much to get everything working. So what, what, man. Zoom x divided by two. Then you need this one with zoom x divided by two. Then you need this one with zoom x. And then you need this one with zoom x. Then you have much too, too much <laughs> zooming. So we take out that one. Then we have also too much zooming. So we take out that one. And then we have a little bit too much. A little bit too much. It's more than a tile. It's it's not right. It's actually not right. But I'm. I have uh, no concentrate. I can't concentrate me anymore. So, as we can see, the first one is also not working anymore. So there is something wrong with this one. So now we have the right spaces. Now we do one dot five. And we don't have the right spaces. This pretends that this one needs to zoom x to just get the right space. As you can see, now I think we have the right space. No, we don't. Because this is not enough. Before. No. Zero seven five is too much. Yeah, because I want not seven five, I want two five. Two five is too less. And two was too much. Depends. So in this case, I think two is right. Let us, I don't have anything I can open. Or the measuring so this one is now i would say a whole tile and this one is just a half tile so it lies in between here so what we want like to do is divide by two divide by four Think. No, let's do. Divide by three. <laughs> uh, three could be right. Uh, it looks also a little bit small, but uh, I don't care for now. So we just say the zoom to two, and then we have too much. And if we send it to one, we have a little bit too less. So what's the problem here? We still have a problem with the zooming of the tire sizes, but it has something to do with the end tiles. And I think I would for now, just to make the formula a little bit easier, remove this part because now I would suggest we just ending at the last tile. This is maybe this is easier to have the zoom working because now we can just say if we have one five we would let 
at the end of the last tile and there you can see already that we are missing some stuff so this gives us already the the information that something isn't scaled correctly because I would yeah I would now have the end of the tie so if I scroll to the to the right I would like to end at the end of the tie how it's actually working on the zoom level one so this is the end of the map and there we want to go and there we want to to be on every zoom level and as you can see uh, if I increase the zoom level we are getting more and more different results so on two we have more space than there should be on 0 0.54 for example we have two less space so this gives us the hint that, that something in the in the sizes isn't correctly and i would say it has something to do with the tie size itself which needs to be adjusted by the zoom level but if we adjust it it of course gives us this is just some pixels which are missing yeah so we are just missing some pixels and so it can't be it can't be that big of a zoom so this one can't be right this one also now has too much so we go back to one we go back to one there it's everything how it should so on one it's fine the initial map position x is just holding now the count of x so let us let us do it in other in the other way around so we have a zoom level of one and we go actually to the to the numbers now i have <laughs> i'm fucked i'm i don't want to do that now anymore so we have the max position actual max position which is the number 704 pixel on zoom one so what we now expect is if we say the zoom is 1.1 .1, so the zoom is 1.1 means that we need to have seven oh four multiplied by 1.1 man seven four multiplied 1.1 so we need to have seven seven four we expect 774.6 on zoom one so to achieve that i usually would say we just need to brackets and zoom x put the zoom x in now we have a breakpoint and the actual map position is telling us that we have 704 because I have not adjusted it accordingly. So now I have adjusted it, and now he is saying we have 774.4. So this is as expected. The problem now is it's expected, but it doesn't matching the tiles here. So what does this mean? small recap for tomorrow i think we have to end it here right now i have to think about it but we can <laughs> actually then fix it tomorrow or i will uh, check it later 
but because I have to go in some minutes, but we will do a small recap here. The problem is now, somehow our width is not correctly. And I think this has something to do with the initial min map position. So, because I would say we just need to adjust the min map position. So, what this gives us, sorry is nearly right nearly but we have to take into account that we start on the left side on the min map position and the min map position needs maybe to be divided and we are a little bit off here as well so if we increase the zoom we are going bigger okay but it has something to do with it i will fiddle this out later and we will came up with a solution for tomorrow but i think it ha it has something to do with that maybe it's also because the uh, calculation for the tile set isn't correctly i have to write it down on a on a paper and then i'm just going I'm just going for it. So as I said, I don't have any time anymore for today. I'm sorry that we couldn't achieve that much for today, but I think it's 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 no problem because the understanding of the tile system is pretty pretty much <laughs> more worth than having a solution yet because you should always be capable of uh, of having your own math and uh, be capable of, of understanding what you're doing there. And the problem is that I don't understand what the problem is. And as long as we don't understand what's the problem, we can't fix it. That's that's nearly everything. So we need to understand it more and we will make it correctly for tomorrow. Um, yeah, so small recap. We just, uh, we, we made some progress. I mean, the zooming is uh, working. We are now on the right min map position. The panning is just off on the on the max map position. But it's no problem. We will get it working for tomorrow. Yeah, so uh, I hope, nevertheless, uh, you had some fun. I hope the sound quality was a little bit better than yesterday. Um, also, the video on YouTube uh, was taking much longer yesterday because I had to cut something out and the, the procession was uh, yeah, taking quite long. So I hope today it will be better with that. That said, I'm pretty happy that the stream <laughs> was going that smooth, even if we have these problems. Um, I promise we will fix it tomorrow and then we go back into another topic and it will be more. Maybe we can then see more progress and achieve more and maybe it's better for you. But I have no idea. I'm not sure if, if you're liking the struggle of myself. I hate the struggle of myself, but I can just talk for me. So maybe you are interested in the struggle because it shows every other developer that struggling is real and it's it's just normal behavior and you have to overcome it and you can just overcome it by researching by yeah understanding what's going on and trying to fix it and i think always if you overcome these barriers and these uh, problems you will get a better developer and if you stop or let it be then yeah you're actually failing so I think this that's part of the process and we need to take care about that and also show it off. So I hope you liked it. We will see us tomorrow and have a good day. I'm out right here.